Hello, my name is Rachel and I love baking chain and scale mail. So I thought today it'd be fun to show you how I make these little scale mail headdress on a headband. And let me just go over the things that you're going to need real quick. First, you're going to need some sort of headband and the type of headband matters. You're going to need a headband that has some sort of like these ear ones work great as long as there's a hole in the ear somewhere where you can put in a ring so that you can it helps keep the first row of scales in place so it doesn't all slide from one side to the other so maybe something like with this cat ear headband this headband that i'm wearing worked great because it had all these little loops to it which again allowed me to space out those top uh, first row of scales to keep them in, in place so that they don't all, like I said, slide to one side or the other. And the headband that we're going to use today is actually this unicorn headband that I got in my um, from Michael's um, in my Halloween haul. Now, I am going into this tutorial assuming that you already know how to make basic scale mail because this only takes really basic scale mail and I actually have a whole video on basic scale mail which I will put in the description box below if you want to review that first also I am using these holographic vinyl covered scales and this is a auto vinyl that I cover scales in and I have a tutorial on how to use the auto vinyl to cover scales to get unique finishes and I will also link that tutorial in the description box below. And as you can see, I just like to do the front edge with the fancier scales just for, you know, it's just, just to, as an accent point. Of course, if you wanted to do it all one color, there's nothing wrong with that. It's completely up to you. Or if you wanted to do it all in a, in a you know, fancy scale or whatever, that's however you want to do it, it's completely up to you. But if you're doing just the edge, you will need 12 of the large scales and one of the extra large scales covered or painted or however you want to make them stand out. Now I do get all of my scales from the Ring Lord and the the majority of these are the Ring Lord's large scales, but I do have just this one extra large scale for the focal point in the center and that's what we'll be using today. You'll also need for these scales the 16 gauge 5 16 rings and I actually got these rings these are by Chainmail Joe and I actually get these on Amazon in bulk they come out to probably about the same price as buying your rings from the Ring Lord but because they're Amazon Prime I can get them super quick and that's why uh, for just like my plain silver or plain black rings I do tend to order these from Amazon and of course you need your pair of jewelry pliers and these are my favorite pair these were not cheap pliers but for years i went through so many pairs of pliers where they were either just too uncomfortable or they break and after spending all that money on inexpensive but not great pliers i finally broke down and got the really nice expensive pliers <laughs> and these are awesome and they have this little plastic spring so when that breaks you can actually replace just that part with a lot of my other like i lost a, a really great pair where the metal little spring in it broke and there was no way to repair or replace that you just had to get all new pliers so so i believe that's everything that we're going to need for this project I will get you turned around and we'll get started. I of course forgot to mention a couple of things. Uh, you're also going to need the other scale. Like well, I guess I said that you were going to need multiple scales, but so I'm using these brushed silver for the main body. And then like I said, I'm going to use these holographic ones for my accents. And also I have this little piece of pre-made chain right here. I don't build it on the headband. I build it on this piece of chain and then I move it over to the headband once I've got the base done. Okay, so I've got my pile of rings here, my scales. First thing I'm going to do is this starts with a row of four. 
So I'm just going to put four scales on my chain. And we're not going to use any of the accent scales until we get to row two rows from now. So next I'm going to do a row of five and then a row of six. I'm gonna go off camera to do most of that six row. Be right back. Okay, so I've got most of my row of six done, but I just wanted to bring you back to show you for this one when I build out on my sides, I'm using the accent scale. Now, next, what we're going to do is we're going to do one more row of five with no accent scales, and then we're going to do another row of six with the accent scales. So let me just go off camera to do that real quick. So you can see I did my row of five, and then this is going to be my row of six. I just haven't put the accent ones on yet. Do that for you real quick. Now the reason why we did that, where we went six, five, and then another six, was so that we could get a little extra length without increasing the width. So next we're going to start bringing it down into its point. And now you want to make sure you use the accent scales at the beginning and the end of every single row. of what I'm doing now so I'm just going to go off camera and finish up the next couple of rows. So the only one we have left is the extra large scale for our accent piece and that just goes on just like the rest of them. This is what this looks like from the front. And next we're going to attach it to the headband and that's the last step. So I'm going to flip it back over. Unhook it from my chain. Take my headband, 
And the very end ones are going to go inside the year. One each side. And then the other two I'm going to put between the horn and the ear. Unlike the cat ear ones, I just put them here in the center and those two can slide around a bit. But I like this because then we have the extra barriers to keep our scales in place. But it is important to have somewhere to put these outer two rings that holds them separate from all sliding in together. And that's all there is to it. Uh, we're going to switch the camera back around and try this on and see how it turned out. So here's our little finished headband. Let's put this on, see how it works. Make sure those end ones are flipped out because sometimes they'll flip inwards. And this, this headband, I noticed they had soldered on the ears and horn, just a little crooked, but it still, it still works. It just makes it a little quirkier because now my horn is pointed off to the side. <laughs> but that came out nice. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs down, but please leave constructive criticism in the comments below so that I can improve. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.